power of your mind will make you unstoppable. Most martial arts would have these amazing masters who have been studying in the mountains, meditating and being all Zen and stuff like that. Um, lots of these films and legends are actually referring to that. The fact that your physical power and strength is based on you, you know, the body's capability. However, if you go over that and you are able to condition your mind, you can get into extraordinary powers that will enhance your martial arts. In most films, you have the hero who gets beaten up, then he goes to study under this master, he reaches this special level and skills, and then he just you know, ends up winning against a bad enemy or something like that. So same thing happens in all the different films and you just you just it just gets you wondering about how this is done first point is to master your fear now most of us know fear as something that destabilizes us that that gets us frozen that gets us unable to do anything through conditioning your mind you can get into a level when you understand that fear is just a an impulse is just the body uh, is warning you against something that is going to happen. It actually says to prepare rather than freeze. So when it comes to mastering your fear, your natural reaction, the natural reaction of your body when someone is going to punch you is to move back, which is counterproductive because it's not going to be just one punch. It's going to be one, two, three, four, and I'm done. Okay, now if you master your fear and you understand that you don't have to be there, you can just move to the side and just be behind him. But that all comes down to you being conscious of the moment. If I'm standing here and being, oh, he's gonna punch me, oh my God, oh, he's gonna punch me. <laughs> That's how he's gonna end up. I don't have to do that. I can just be like, yeah, right. Uh. Here. <laughs> Second point is fear of death. Now, fear of death will give you the extra push. When the survival instinct comes in and you're being faced with the fact that you've got nothing to lose, you're either gonna die or you, you die trying or fighting for your life. This is something that we all have, this survival instinct, and it's been seen in many different videos and articles, there has been a few things that I found where women just lift up, just, just a normal mother just lifts up a, a one-ton car of a baby that has been underneath it. When they try to get her to lift it up, after that, she couldn't do it. But in that situation where the survival instinct comes in, where the adrenaline is rushing, you are able to do extraordinary things. And if you are able to control this, you will be talking about some extraordinary powers that you can achieve. So mastering fear of death and understanding what it is will massively help you as well. Third point is meditation, or in other words, calming the mind. There has been loads of studies that are proving more and more and more that if you meditate, you will be calmer, you'll be able to deal with stress uh, in a much better way. Uh, some processes even in your brain like stimulating alpha waves and, and things that actually will be able for you to be more focused, uh, mentally more healthy and when it comes to martial arts more focused and in the moment to be able to actually spot any sorts of attacks that are coming towards you. Don't think for a moment that just being strong and being forceful and all of those things will make you unstoppable. Your mind is the first and the foremost important thing that will make you unstoppable. Try some meditation, try how it works for you, get in the moment, try to see if you meditate before your training, if it becomes any better. I guarantee you that you will see some difference in there. If you use this in your daily life, you will see some magical changes in dealing with stress, in becoming calmer and in the overall quality of your life. So enjoy this and we'll see you next time.